Ten. One, two, drink it all the time when I was still in Houston until one night it just was bad and I haven't had gin at all since. You giving me one? Yeah. I'm no. you one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. Oh, you're good? good? This is nice. I, I have you all in your element so this is perfect. Cheers. 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 Okay, Cheers. You guys excited? You ready? You pumped? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, Michelle Ooh. McKnight here with the one, the only, the Ooh. fantabulous Milwaukee's yeah, own slow burn. <laughs> Give it up, give it up, raise the roof. Right. Now, I'm familiar with you all, even though there are some new faces uh, from a couple of years ago, actually my first year that I moved to Milwaukee, um, and I was doing the night show for KISS FM. You all won KISS Icon, which is a big deal. You got to perform on the stage at yep. Summerfest, which I'm sure was amazing, and it seems like, you know, the momentum is just- You know, introduce yourself and say what you contribute to Slow Burn. I'm Luke, I play rhythm guitar. I'm Nick, I play lead guitar. I'm Christian, lead singer, uh, also write lyrics. Seth, I'm the drummer. My name's Jared, I play bass. Nine times out of ten, I tend to be a bigger fan of underground artists that, you know, are independent. Because I just feel like, honestly, you're a little bit more passionate about what you're doing. We don't dress clothes, no dress shoes, you just go on tour and write music. I mean, that's the life. <laughs> What's the general audience that you say that you all bring out to your shows or are you just trying to just really just make good music and whoever is into the music that you make that's who you want to come out to your shows? I think it you know we are pleased to both older younger crowds um, I want to definitely say it's, it's what our fans are on Twitter and that are a little bit younger crowd sure. so when when you all get together, and you're in a creative planning meeting or whatever you do to make music, because I don't really know. I've, I, I, I've never been in a band. Well, I was in like middle school band, but not like a so band. Life, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, um, but what is your, where does your inspiration stem from? Do you listen to certain artists or do you take shots of Tangeray? What do you, what do you do? I grew up around a house of music. My mom played music growing up. She actually yeah. played accordion. Wow. <laughs> um, so I grew up actually around it's a lot, lot of, of polka and yeah. stuff like yes. that. Too. Wow. Um, but I've just been very eclectic, listening to a lot of different types of music, and I've been playing since I was five years old, and I've been in high school, middle school bands. So I think we bring so many different genres yeah, in because yeah. mm -hmm. I don't listen to what Nick listens to or what Christian listens yeah, to. Yeah, right. So I think it's like hard rock, yet at the same time. Poppy. We're, okay. Yeah, poppy, got some pop in there. and we're we're trying to bring you know as much like we want females to you know we of really of course you do yeah, yeah. Of you want to bring them out. But like, <laughs> I think one thing too that we established from the start was you know at least for me was I want to bring some fat heavy guitar riffs, but to make that span to many different types of people and you know influences and what people like, it's kind of taking that and you know adding lots of melody good lyrics, stuff people can relate to, so, you know, you can have that heavy guitar riff, but at the same time, you know, it sounds so modern, and it can span to many different types of people, and they can all... The music you can listen to, and you can get into, and you can relate to, it has heavy parts, but it has, you know, slow melodic parts, and I just think the city needs a lot more of that. Absolutely. I feel city. like every band... Uh, has some type of fantabulous story that oh well we grew up together our moms were best friends or we met in high school I punched him in the face but then we became <laughs> you know best friends the next day so how 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 did you all come together collectively to We're make slow burn yeah the I came in kind of weird because um, I started a uh, leukemia lymphoma society benefit concert okay. And okay. I found these guys online, and I said, do you want to be a part of it? They said, yeah. Three months later, they're like, we need a bassist. I'm like, I've been playing bass for 20 years. 
you know, and I love your sound, so that's how I got into the band, all right? And now, one year later, my buddy from high school, who I, who I've known since, what, we were 12, I, now he's in the band, so, like, you know, we're, and everyone we're is from people. Milwaukee, though, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Milwaukee area, yeah. Milwaukee area. Where are you from? West Bend. <laughs> uh, well, okay, Wisconsin. Everyone is from. Everyone eats cheese and beer and bacon, yes. right? Okay, Definitely. just making sure. And I want to say too, when when Christian and I started the band, Seth was one of my best friends all through college. Known him for at least probably five years before we actually started the band. Never played together. Ever. Not once. Not once. Wow. Uh, how that happens, I have no idea, but then uh, when he joined the band, it was just, it was something it was, special. So. Yeah, it was pretty much uh, years of him bugging me, asking me to join <laughs> the band. Um, and for our friendship, I didn't want to, because, you know, if it didn't work out, I didn't want to ruin my friendship because the band didn't work out. Okay. And then, you know, things happened, and my other bands didn't work out, and it just kind of fell in my lap, and it's worked out, and it's been great since. You, how well do you know your bandmate? And if you don't know him so well, which means you don't answer the question correctly, then you have to take a shot. Oh, Out of a fantabulous... Oh, we're, we're, yeah. Where's one of those wait, slow wait, burn wait, shot wait, glasses? Wait. See what I can do. Well, I've only known you all from 2012, so that actually might not be too hard. So this is the fantabulous slow burn shot glass that we have right mm -hmm. here. And what are, we, what are we drinking, Nick? Drinking the Blue Beauty <laughs> Bombay Sapphire. Not official drink of the band. Yeah. It happens to be <laughs> it's my official well, drink. It's personally. usually PBR. <laughs> if it's not Guinness, it's probably Bombay Sapphire. What is the name of Christian's eight month? It's eight months now, correct? Eight months. Well. You're. That's right. It's you're a, oh, 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 count of three. Oh, you, well, you take a shot because you. He is the Godfather. Oh. <laughs> yes. hey, that was too easy. That was too easy. He is the Godfather. What is Nick's favorite color? Don't answer. I'm going to count to three, and you're both going to say it at the same time, okay? You ready? Now, I'm hoping it's not something with, like, three, four syllables, like magenta or mahogany. All right? Yeah. One, two, three. Black. Oh. You're so close. You were going to say black, too. No, no, I guess blue. Right? Yeah. Go join your bandmate. Listen, I'm bringing you all closer right now. You need a better color, dude. actually a track on the album named Blind, so there is a title track. We'll play it today. How okay. many songs? Uh, there's six, and uh, you can find it on iTunes, Amazon, uh, Spotify, what else, guys? Uh, Shazam. Yeah. Uh, you name it, you can probably find it somewhere, so it's just Slow Burn Blind, and uh, this is the wonderful hard copy that we have. In Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. So what, I mean, what's coming up? here in the immediate future. Uh, we're going to be playing Q Club on April 12th. Um, Q Clubs used to be called Master Z's for any, so anyone who lives in Waukesha should know Master Z's, but um, it should be a fun show. It's going to be you know, a good probably two, three hour set. And uh, after that we're going to be playing May 4th at Metal Grill. And that's uh, in Cudahy, right guys? Mm -hmm. Yep. So Cudahy. And then uh, after that, we'll be looking at the festivals, Summerfest, Will Rock, things like that. So, 
Yeah. Well, I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool, right? I'm excited here, too. And everybody, of course, they can follow you. You're on the social media. You're on Facebook. Slowburn Rock, correct? Facebook.com slash Slowburn W.I. for Wisconsin. Okay. Uh, and then if you want to find pretty much any link, any song, video, picture, anything you want, go to Reverb Nation. That's R-E-V-E-R-B Nation.com at uh, slash Slowburn. Just slow Twitter? Burn. So Twitter is uh, Slowburn Rock. I knew something was yeah. over and rock. I knew I, I knew I wasn't tripping. We retweet. <laughs> we retweet. We will retweet. Well, well, make sure that you go follow. Make sure you go support Milwaukee's own Slow Burn Rock. They're doing big things. They're absolutely fantabulous. As you can see, they're very personable and they like to drink. <laughs> that is always a plus in my book, and I'm going to let you all close out with something great. Oh, yes, and Saf Sapphire. This is obviously the drink of choice, so if you ever see them out in the clubs, if you see them at Summerfest, be sure to get them a shot of this, or maybe a mixed drink for Christian. Yep. yep. Because we don't want to ruin, because we don't want to ruin Christian's vocal cords. <laughs> I'm Luke. I'm Jared. I'm Christian. I'm Seth. I'm Nick. And we're... Slower! That was great. A little off because we're drinking, you know, but. <laughs> <laughs>